This video is designed to orientate Pico 6 users with Pico 7 software. This video is sponsored by AES Wave. All of your diagnostic equipment can be found at aeswave.com. Please note that Pico 7 is still in beta testing and I will identify the version I use for each video. This video was created with stable version 7.0. 0.93.2.11854. The first thing you will notice after choosing demo mode is the guided test window will open. This is designed to help you with a quick setup for various automotive tests. For example, to scope an inductive wheel speed sensor, click on sensors, wheel speed, and choose the inductive option. This setup for a wheel speed sensor will work for any inductive speed sensor. You can choose to load the settings file or the guide with the settings file. Click the home button to return to the test menu to choose a different test. The guided test is not new to Pico, but it was never something they prompted you to use once the software started. You can also disable this by placing a check mark in the box, lower left hand corner, that says, don't show this menu when Pico 7 starts. If your scope is connected to your computer, the software will automatically find it and select it. Notice that the guide test did not preload. You can always get the guided test back on the screen by clicking the guided test icon at the top of the screen. Remove the check mark and it will return the next time you start the software. Wow, there's a ton to unpack when you compare the Pico 7 interface to the Pico 6 interface. Let's start with the top menu moving from left to right. On the top menu, you will find the run stop button. This is nice and big, and it still works by tapping the spacebar. The time base can be quickly changed up and down with the plus and minus buttons, or if you click in the middle of the button, you get the full range of options. Additionally, under the ADC sampling icon, this is where you adjust the buffer memory. This directly impacts the number of waveforms that can be stored. Watch the number of waveforms and the number of samples change when I change from normal to low. The progressive mode value is the same as the slow sampling transition setting in Pico 6. For an explanation on how this works, watch my Pico 6 Lesson 19 on Setting Preferences. Click on the sample rate, and you can now adjust the target sampling rate. You can do a custom or do a preset. To hide the time settings, just click on the waveform screen. To the right of the time base settings is the trigger setting. The plus and minus button can quickly adjust the trigger value. However, you will need to click the center of the button to access the trigger mode, slope, and channel. This is where you can select between single, repeat, auto, and off. You can also change the trigger type to something other than the simple edge. These advanced triggers were available in Pico 6, but they were not that easy to find. You can choose which channel you want to trigger from, as well as the pre-trigger and a custom threshold. Under Directions, you can choose between Rising or Falling Edge. Click the Waveform screen to hide the trigger menu. To the right of the trigger button is the waveform button. This is the buffer that allows you to scroll through the captured screens. You can now display the captured time, 
and change the size of the thumbnail images as well as adjust the number of possible buffers. The exact number of buffers is dependent upon how many samples are collected in each waveform. Moving along to the right is the button that brings up the guided test. Then there's the auto setup button which will attempt to choose the best settings for the signal that is being received. Followed by open file, save file, and print options. Next to print is the vehicle details icon which will give you the opportunity to enter vehicle specific details for each saved waveform. Finally, there is a full screen mode that will hide all the settings and only show the waveform. Press the F11 key to exit full screen mode. The zoom feature can be located all the way over to the right. It works the same way with some added controls. The next video will cover channels and settings.